We did a lot of sap testing this year. Basically, we go out early in the morning while the sap is still kind of balanced, I guess you would say, in the leaf. And we take these leaves. If the dew's on, you have to dry them off. You basically just get a quart Ziploc bag full of leaves, and then it gets overnighted to a place in Ohio. And from there, it gets overnighted over to the Netherlands. And then in a few days, we get the test results back. We're taking an old leaf and a new leaf so that we can see the nutrient deficiencies. It's a whole lot more accurate than a tissue test. It gives us kind of a real-time measure of what that plant needs. What's really been interesting is on these plots where we've completely eliminated the dry fertilizer, the sap tests show up in the normal and even sometimes in the high range on P and K. So that's been pretty encouraging as far as getting away from those synthetic inputs. I haven't really done a lot of soil testing. We did a little bit of the total nutrient digestion testing this spring just to kind of see what was out there and see that we have everything we need in the soil. We just need to unlock it with the biology.